Alright guys, so we are coming to the mat and we're going to lay down nice and flat, curling back to the mat, finding that neutral spine, that little tunnel between the small of the back and the floor, making sure that the pelvis is in neutral. So pubic bone, ASIS, those outside hip bones are on the same plane. We're not over tilted with that scoop and we're not over arching with the rib flare. So we're going to find neutral. You can put hands on the hips to help track that position as you slide the shoulders down and we're going to draw in through the mid ribs, draw navel to spine, feel that bracing and we're going to float the right foot just up off of the mat and on the inhale we're going to reach the right leg forward straight out along the mat and exhale to bend the knee, draw the heel back towards the hip. Inhale to reach, extending that leg nice and long and slow to draw back. Almost like you're drawing your heel towards your hip. Being mindful that the hip position, the back position isn't shifting as the leg moves in and out of its flexion and extension. And we'll do one more with the right leg before changing to the left side. And resetting that right foot down in line with the sit bone. Take a moment to reset, left foot floats, and we inhale to extend and lengthen out. Exhale to draw back. Finding that even weight from hip to hip so there's no twisting of the back and the hip from side to side. Skimming the mat, skimming the floor with that left leg as you extend out nice and long, building that tension out of the hip through to the foot as the leg moves. One more with the left leg, reaching out nice and long keeping that alignment through the hip and the back. And we'll bring the foot back, the leg back, and we'll reset. Moving into our pelvic tilts on the exhale, we're gonna tilt the hips back, imprint the low back. We're scooping and lifting the hips up. So tailbone, pubic bones reaching up between the knees towards the ceiling. And as we rock back to neutral, nothing from the rib cage up is gonna shift out of position. We're gonna keep the movement, low back and hip. As we tilt, drawing navel to spine, lifting and drawing up through the pelvic floor, zipping up from pubic bone up to the mid ribs. And last two. Arms are going to reach nice and long down by your side, starting in your neutral spine. We're working into our pelvic curl, that shoulder bridge. Exhale, hips tilt back. We imprint the low back as we peel up off of the mat, sending the hips high as we push the knees forward towards the toes, creating that movement and mobility at the ankle. On the next exhale, we curl down along the ribs, down the back, all the way through towards the tailbone. Again, not allowing anything from bra line mid ribs up to shift as we're working into that shoulder bridge. We're keeping the lift of the hip, that extension in the hip, out of the back. Feeling that tension build at the back of the legs and the stretch through the front of the hip and thigh and around the knee. Slow as we curl down.
One more pelvic curl, rolling and articulating along the spine, feeling that stretch and that spacing between each vertebra as you bridge and lift, hollowing as you curl back down. Legs will come to tabletop position, 90 at the hip and at the knee. We're going to work our single leg lowers. On the inhale, right foot lowers towards the mat. And exhale, lift. We're going to stay on just that right side. Inhale as you hinge at the hip. Again, we feel that even weight across the shoulder blades, across the pockets at the back of the hips. Drawing in as the foot lowers towards the mat. We're maintaining that knee bend. Last one with the right leg. We pause at center. Up at tabletop. Left leg. Inhale, lower. Finding the mat by hinging at the hip. Try not to shift the position of the knee. And last two with the left side. Pausing at tabletop, arms reach up overhead, palms towards the ceiling, and exhale, arms flow forward. We lift the head, neck, and chest, bringing our line of sight between the knees, and inhale, slow to lower. Exhale to fold, working our hundreds, prep, folding deep at the mid ribs as we reach long with the arms, keeping the tension out of the neck, out of the tops of the shoulders. Last one. And upper body resets, arms come out to a T position, palms up towards the ceiling. Working into our leg changes, inhale, right foot lowers, and we exhale to switch and change, left foot lowers. Nice and smooth transition from side to side. Drawing the ribs together, bracing through the core, collarbone is spreading wide as the shoulder blades connect to the mat, keeping that strong, stable position through the low back so there's no shift in the spine as the legs move. One more each side. And we'll hug the knees in towards the chest, round the back. Slight lift of the hips and the tailbone as you slide the shoulders down and let the collarbone open wide. And we'll reset. Feet back to the mat. Knees are bent. Legs and feet are in line with your sit bones. Arms are reaching long down by your side or resting on your hips. Right foot floats. And we reach out. Out to the side, opening out to that opening. And back in. Knee bends, heel to hip. Right leg reach forward along the mat. And we open out, just about mat width apart and drawing back to your start position. That opening, that abduction of the right leg, moving out to the right and in, we're controlling the left side of our body, making sure that we're not tipping over and onto that right hip. We're planting that left side. Small movement, just about mat width apart. One more. And 
and we'll reset. Left foot floats. We extend out long across the mat and inhale, slide to the left and back. Knee bends, bringing heel to hip. Bracing along the right side of the body as the left leg moves out and to the left. Moving just to the edge of your mat with that left leg, bracing strong through the core. Feeling the shoulder blades slide back and down. One more. Bending the left knee, bringing the heel back in line with the sit bones, fingers interlaced, bringing the hands back behind the head to support the head, neck, and chest. And on the exhale, we fold along the midriffs to lift, keeping that little gap at the small of the back and slow as we reset back to the mat. Exhale, fold and lift. Sliding the shoulders down, we inhale, pause. And exhale back. Ribs and abdominals stay knitted in. We stay weighted towards the tailbone as we slide the shoulders down and lengthen through the neck. Holding deep along the bra line, allowing the head to fall back into the hands and the arms. Staying weighted towards the tailbone. One more. and arms return down by your side. We'll bring our knees to tabletop, hugging through inner thigh. We're gonna cross left ankle over right, squeezing through the knees and on the inhale, legs are gonna inhale over to the right side, anchoring that left shoulder and exhale back to center. We're gonna work just to the right. Inhale, twisting through the mid ribs to lift the left hip as the legs travel right and exhale to reset. Anchoring the full weight of the left shoulder blade as you tip onto that right hip, that right pocket. Drawing a straight line across the ceiling with the legs. And the farther over those legs travel, the more we draw in through the mid ribs, whole navel to spine, keeping our low back in neutral, and allowing that twist to come through the mid ribs across the bra line. Last one to the right. And we'll pause at the center, change our ankle cross, right ankle over left. Drawing the shoulders down, we inhale, take the legs to the left as the right shoulder anchors. We're rocking onto that left hip as the right shoulder blade connects to the mat. Squeezing through inner thighs, we're pulling the ribs in, twisting along the mid-back, 
just below the tip of the shoulder blades as that right side anchors deeper. Last two. And we'll unwind the legs, place the feet flat to the mat with knees bent and fingers once again interlace, bringing your hands behind your head. Lengthen the neck, slide the shoulders down. We exhale to fold and lift the chest. Pausing at the top for that chest lift. On our inhale, we're gonna twist over to that right shoulder blade and back to center. Again, staying just on this right side. Twisting to the right and back to center. Even weight from hip to hip. Nice smooth transitions along the mid ribs over to that right side. And last one, twisting to the right. Pausing for a moment at the top. And inhale, twisting left. Anchoring the right hip as you rock over and onto that left shoulder blade. We're keeping the distance between the ribs and the hips the same. So we're working into a rotation versus a side bend or some lateral flexion. We wanna keep that spacing from the top of the hip to the base of the rib cage the same both on the right side and the left side as we rotate over and onto that left shoulder blade. Last two. Coming back to center and slow to reset back to the mat. Arms will come nice and long down by our side. We'll bring our knees to tabletop position and on our inhale, we're gonna take our legs over to the right. We'll straighten both legs up towards the ceiling, sweep back to center, bend the knees. Again, we're going to the right only versus that alternating from side to side. Over to the right, legs straighten, and we sweep back. Nice and straight, long legs. Reach over onto that right hip and extend and back. Anchoring the left shoulder blade as we twist onto that right hip, keeping that twist and that movement right across the bra line at the base of the shoulder blades. Ribs knit in more. Abdominals draw in tight. Last one. Into tabletop, we inhale over to the left hip. Right shoulder connects deep to the mat and extend. Straight legs come back to center. Tabletop position takes us over onto that left hip and then we straighten the legs and come back. Again, finding that twist through the mid ribs, keeping it out of our low back as we bring that tension into our core. Collarbone is spreading wide, pressing that right shoulder blade down against the mat. And last two. Bending the knees in towards the chest, reaching for the toes as you pull the knees apart. You could also grab the back of the legs and we're going to rock from hip to hip. Coming back to center, 
We'll go soles of the feet together, pressing the knees apart, allowing the front of the hips to open and stretch. Collarbone spreads wide as you press the shoulder blades down against the mat into the floor, knitting the ribs in, and slow to unwind. Knees are bent, feet are flat. Arms are gonna come up overhead, palms up towards the ceiling, and on the exhale, they flow forward. We lift the head, neck, and chest, pausing at the top, for that chest lift, and arms reach up overhead on the next inhale, and exhale down. Keeping the chest lifted, chin slightly tucked, trying not to let the upper body drop back towards the mat as the arms reach up overhead. We're stretching through the front of the chest, opening up the shoulder, keeping those abdominals tight and cinched up as the arms travel back and three two and one slow to reset the upper body bringing our legs to tabletop position reaching the arms and the shoulders down. Inhale, right leg reaches forward, out to that 45 degree angle and back. Feel like you're pushing something heavy away from you to extend and straighten that leg, building that tension along the leg from hip to toe. Abdominals knit in tight, Bracing through the core as we send that right leg forward, straight and long, lengthening on the inhale. One more. And we'll pause back at tabletop, take a moment to reset, and inhale, left leg extends out. And exhale back. Reaching longer and straighter with the leg, building that tension through the thigh as the leg reaches from the hip. Last two. And we'll bend the knees, place the feet flat. We're gonna lift the heels up off of the mat. So we're working off of the ball of the foot in a lifted heel, working into our pelvic curl. We're gonna exhale to tilt the hips back. Imprint the spine as we begin to peel and lift, sending the knees forward over the toes, hips lift high as ribs draw in, and exhale, curl along the spine, piece by piece. Rolling all the way through back towards a neutral spine, and exhale, tilt. Hips lift up and slow to lower down. Rolling along the spine piece by piece. Last one. Lowering the heels, we're gonna wrap that right ankle across the top of the left thigh, and the right leg twists in and twists out. 
Trying to keep the hips nice and still as the leg moves in the hip. Working that external rotation. One more. And we'll switch sides. Right foot down. Left ankle crosses the right. Finding that little gap at the small of the back and leg twists in and out. Keeping and maintaining that little gap. Engage through the abdominals. Last one. And slow to unwind. Legs return to tabletop. Hugging through inner thigh, arms come back up overhead. We're gonna add our leg extensions to our chest lifts. Exhale, arms flow forward, head, neck, chest lifts, and we extend and reach the legs out long and strong. Slow to reset, keeping that little gap at the small of the back. And exhale, fold and lift. Reach. Working that leg movement out of the hip as you reach forward so the pelvis doesn't tip too heavy towards the tailbone. And last two. Slow to reset, arms are overhead, legs reach out nice and long, working into our roll up. Inhale, arms flow forward as the head, neck, chest lifts. And exhale to curl. Curling and rounding and rolling forward, stretching out nice and long over the thighs, allowing the spine to stretch. One more breath as we slide the shoulders down and lengthen the neck. And then exhale to curl. Curling and rolling back piece by piece along the spine as you reset back to the mat. Arms reach up long overhead. We're gonna do two more roll-ups. Inhale, fold and begin your lift. Exhale to draw the abdominals up deep under the rib cage, finding that C curve as you curl Forward, stretching out nice and long over the legs, lengthening the spine, stretching the crown of the head forward towards the toes, and exhale, curl. Rolling down, piece by piece, vertebra by vertebra, all the way back, and fold and lift. Reaching out nice and long. And slow to sit up, restacking tall. We'll bring our soles of our feet together for our butterfly stretch. Sitting up tall out of the sit bones, hinging forward at the hip as the knees drop down and out to the floor. Collarbone spreads wide, shoulders pack back and down. One more breath. And we're gonna come on to our left side for some of our sideline leg work. I'm gonna have the bottom left leg 
bend at the hip and at the knee for more support and for more stability. I'm going to stay up on the forearm today, pull the ribs up and in, draw them away from the mat as we slide the shoulders down. And top right leg is going to lift and hover. They're starting at parallel. And exhale, lift and lower. It's a much smaller movement than if we were laying flat. Really getting into the hip a bit more. Reach and lengthen that leg out as you lift. So it's stretching out of the hip as it comes up. And three, two, one. We're going to bring the leg back slightly into extension. So you feel that stretch coming along the front of the hip and down the thigh. Glute is active. We're going to bend the knee, bring the right heel back towards the hip and straighten. Staying in that extension with ribs and abdominals drawn in so we're not extending into the back. Drawing heel towards the hip. Feeling that stretch along the quad, that engagement at the back of the upper right leg through the hamstring. One more. And we're going to kick forward. Flex with the ankle. Leg comes forward. Point the toe. Reach back. Working in through flexion extension. The leg comes forward more than when we're reaching back. One more. And we'll flip over face down. Resting our forehead to the back of the hands. Legs are reaching out nice and long. Bit of a separation from foot to foot. Slide those shoulders down. Ribs and abdominals knit in. Squeeze into the glutes and inhale. Both legs lift and lower. We're allowing that extension to come from the hip, keeping it out of the low back. Legs are lengthening out as they lift. Brings more tension up the back of the leg, keeps it out of the low back. Three, two, and one. Feet and legs are lengthening long. They draw together at your center line. Slight tuck of the tail. Hands and arms are going to come down by the side of the legs and hips. And inhale, chest lifts. And exhale to lower. Float the face up off the mat. Inhale, lift. Drawing the shoulder blades down the back as you fold at the mid ribs to work that extension of just the upper back. We don't let it travel down into our waist, into the small of our back. Stretching the tailbone down towards the back of the knees, softening the lumbar spine. And we draw abs in as we lift. Last two. One more. And hands come by the chest. Toes curl under. We peel up. We sit back, stretching, dropping the chest down towards the thighs, towards the mat as we reach out long overhead. One more breath. And we're going to restack up to a nice tall kneeling position. Hips tuck under, round the spine, drop the head. Pressing the hips forward as we restack the spine. Kneeling up nice and tall, nice and long. Pressing the hips forward as we drop the shoulders down. And we're going to come on to that right side. Right leg is bent at the hip, at the knee. 
We're staying up on the forearm. Don't let the rib cage sag towards the floor. We wanna find that nice line, that engagement through the mid ribs, through the core. Left leg floats, starting at parallel to the mat and we lift and lower. Smaller movement because we're not laying flat. We wanna reach that leg out, stretch it out of the hip as it lifts up. Shoulders are packed back and down, trying not to crunch and cinch up against the neck. Three, two, one. We're going to bring that left leg back into extension, moving out of the hip, but not letting the chest or the torso come forward. And we bend that left knee, bringing the heel back towards the hip, feeling that stretch run in front the thigh and then open and bend. Keeping the midline nice and tight, just the shin and the foot are traveling. We're keeping that line of the leg. Last three. Leg straightens, flex at the ankle, we come forward, into flexion, point the toe, we reach back. Moving through flexion and extension, the leg sweeps. Reaching and stretching out of the hip as the leg lengthens and moves. Trying not to bring that movement into the spine. And two. One, and we'll flip over face down. Nice and long through the spine, legs are straight. Arms are gonna come out to a T position. Face and arms are floating up off the mat, and we inhale to lift the head, neck, and chest. Slow to lower, keeping long through the back of the neck. Inhale, lift. Squeezing through inner thighs, engaging the glutes as we draw the ribs and the abdominals up and in. Three, two, and one. Hands come by the chest, toes curl under. We're gonna peel up, sit back towards the heels, reaching back. Let's pull the knees apart, bring the heels together to sit lower, drop the chest down between the knees. Reaching the arms straight and long overhead, stretching out. We'll take our right hand, right arm, we'll lace it underneath the left, drop that right shoulder down to the mat as well as the ear, and we're looking out underneath that left arm, finding that rotation along the mid ribs. One more breath. And we'll switch, right arm reaches out, long overhead, Left arm laces under and through, dropping that left shoulder down, left ear to the mat. One more breath. And slow to unwind. Arms reach long. And on your next exhale, we'll curl and sit up, restacking the spine. Sitting up tall over the hips, arms reach up overhead, fingers interlaced. We stretch up towards the ceiling and we hinge to the right. And back to center. Lengthen, stretch up and over to the left. 
and back to center. Finding that stretch, that lengthening of the spine as you hinge from side to side. Last one to the left. Come back to center and arms rest down by your side. All right, guys. Great work today.